Ever since I was a little kid, I had really bad anxiety, except I didn't know that it was anxiety at all. I've had anxiety since I was a small child. So it wasn't until my psychiatrist actually said, oh, I think you have anxiety, that it all sort of clicked. My first full-blown panic attack when I was probably in like eighth grade or so. Uh, at the time we thought they were asthma attacks, they weren't, because I don't actually have asthma. I had trouble breathing and it felt like an allergic reaction in a way where my throat was closing up and everything was tightening and I got really sweaty. And it's like how your body would react if you were definitely dying. The doctor was like, you're not dying, you're just panicking, and I just refused to believe it. And every other time I, I kept taking myself to the hospital, convinced that that was the time that I was gonna go. It's a feeling of life or death fear. If you're gonna throw up, you get very, very sweaty. It's heart palpitations, blacking out. I would notice more if my chest didn't hurt than if it did, because it was just such a part of me that I was just constantly like feeling pain. Once the panic attack really starts, there's no control for me. Personally, um, it'll do its own thing. People think like, oh, you just have to calm down. Oh, you're just nervous. And it's not nervous. It's a level of fear and anxiety as if someone were chasing you in a horror movie set with a knife. If you tell me to take a deep breath, that is not going to make it better. But if I tell myself to take a deep breath, then it'll be fine. I think I'm getting better at identifying when it's coming. Um, I can kind of sometimes beat it to the punch if I feel like a full panic attack coming can kind of like talk myself down before I get into the like throwing up and the intense like you know needing medication stuff. And it's only something that you can fix on your own and deal with on your own. I know that it's there and I know that I have it so I'm able to talk myself through it but I think not knowing exactly when it's going to spring up that's kind of the scary thing and I think that's kind of what everyone doesn't have control of who experiences it. I don't make excuses anymore. I don't feel like I have to apologize for taking care of my mental health. In order for my brain not to need to deal with that, I think I've become a workaholic because that way I can blame the very normal stressors of work as the reason for why you're feeling so overwhelmed. And so it feels then sort of normalized. I, I think it's important for people to understand that when you say I have anxiety or I'm having a panic attack, it doesn't mean like I have average run of the mill worry like every other, you know, a person does. It means that you, you're like physiologically unable to control what happens when you feel worried. It's a physical response and it has to be taken more seriously because it makes the world like a really scary place to be. The first thing you have to realize is that you're not alone. Talk to somebody, because you don't have to keep suffering. You don't have to suffer in silence, and you don't have to suffer at all. You can get better.